Greetings, this is Gintian, and today we are playing on the Demi-Urge server for Minecraft 1.18.2. Here I am at the place where I plan to build a pumpkin farm and more. I am enjoying the use of my elytra. Thank you, Roscoe. And I'm working on adding villagers below here to surround the pumpkin farm, which will go up vertically. And this is what I've got so far. I have a place for me to bring the villagers in. I boat them in. I've got one villager in place. I'm really happy with the way the design is going. You can see here that the villagers can see each other so they can gossip. And let me take a minute to show you instead of telling you. When I started thinking about building this pumpkin farm, I searched through my hard drive and found the document I created showing how this farm is built. You can see here that it uses pistons as well as sea lanterns. I'm going to use jack-o'-lanterns for the light source. Should work just fine. Problem is that we also use sticky pistons and I don't have enough slime balls to make this work. I won't be able to make it very tall at all without building a, a slime farm. So that will be next. However, just for your parousal, there's page three of the instructions. Uses a lot of observers. And the fourth page is as follows. And you can see the whole thing starts to repeat. So you can build multiple levels going upward. What's not on these plans are, is I also tend to fill in this circle at the, from the top with flowing water and that helps pick up all the items. So we are back from that explanation and I'm going to take a little time to build out this as far as I can take it, use the slime balls that I do have and I will come back to you in just a moment. I am back and I am out of slime balls. So next is off to build a slime farm. Regrettably, I'm back in full armor because I lost my elytra when I died. That being said, I am off to build a farm. Welcome back, and I have found some slime chunks. We are just to the south of Lord Knight's rocket ship. I'll have to show you later. I am using the moss block method of mining. Essentially, you put a moss block down, you then use bone meal to cause it to spread and then you can easily dig up the stone itself just by clearing all the moss blocks so that's what I'm doing I need a lot of hose which are the preferred method for collecting or mining moss blocks the nice thing is is ores and such do are not converted by moss blocks so I can just go through and collect these at my leisure also you'll see the yellow lines they're the chunk borders you can turn that on by pressing F3 and G it is questionable whether this is really faster since you have to make two passes once to turn everything into moss and another one to remove the moss blocks but 
it's definitely easier to go through a bunch of hoes than to burn through a bunch of pickaxes. This seems to be going faster and more easily. This is definitely going to take a while. I have to go down to level 20 or something along those lines. I'll be back with an update in just a moment. Hello again, I am back and the digging is done. Lord Knight came and helped me do some of the digging, you know, the moss conversion and then removing with a hoe. We managed to make it all the way down to Y equals 18, which gave me some room to work with. For a while there I used the stairs to get down, but I created a better way since then, which is back up here, if I can get up. And I've got a drop down and a bubble elevator back up. So let's go down and take a look. And as you can see here, we have the magma blocks, which is our killing area. And underneath that are the minecart hoppers and of course below that is just normal hoppers let's go ahead and pillar up here and take a look this is the killing area the magma blocks will kill the slime and then the hopper mine carts will pull it downward and then the hoppers will take it on to this end of the building and I'll put some chests in here to collect the slimes. Or slime balls is what it will actually be. Let me put some more work into this and I will come back with another update. Hello, I am back again. Let's again go down and take a look. And now you can see the killing chambers are set up. And if we go up, I've got three levels and I've got the iron golems in place to attract the slimes and this will generate our slime balls we now take this over to here and we've got chess that's another way out and let's look inside and yes we have slime balls quite a lot this is working quite well. So with that, it's time to go back up and head back to base. And I'm going to take some slime balls with me so that I can work on the pumpkin farm. I am back at the base and ready to work on, well, two things. One, I finished up the pumpkin farm and I want to show you another project I built off camera and that is the trading post for the villagers let's come down here I'm not sure you've seen you've seen that I'm not sure you've seen this staircase but it brings us right down there that's the other villagers for the farmers and we come over here and we've got these guys I need to turn them back into villagers cure them I think I missed there we go hit him with an apple do that again. I think I can do two if I aim this right. Cure him and him. And I'm gonna go along and cure the rest of these guys and I'll be back in a little in another moment. Welcome back and let's go down and see how those villagers they should wait a second there is a skeleton in the way. Okay now he's gone. And let's go down and see how those villagers turned out. We go over here and 
they are cured. And I can now get the mending book for one dime, one emerald. That one's still expensive. Might have to do him again. Luck of the Sea, two for one. Feather Falling, four for one. Infinity for one. Sweeping Edge for one emerald and one book. Affinity again. And then I have the Cartographers who will sell me now a blank map for one emerald. Which works well for me. I created several of the Cartographers and I gotta cure him still. And I gotta cure these guys. So let me go work on... There's the guy that converted them. I need to go get some more apples and cure these gentlemen. So let me go off to do that. And I'll be back. Hello cat. I'll be back in a little while. I did heal those villagers, and this is the finished pumpkin farm. There are seven levels. Each level has eight spots per pumpkin, so that's seven times eight, which is 56 different spots where pumpkins can grow. More importantly, this will harvest them as soon as they grow. And if we watch the pumpkin farm for just a minute, you can see a pumpkin go by that was harvested from above right about now. Again at one-eighth speed. And now you can watch a pumpkin growing. It will appear on the moss block and you can see how fast it is harvested. The water that flows downward helps prevent the pumpkin from getting stuck on the edge and get sucked down so that it can be collected. But here is the growth. And you've just been convinced to watch a pumpkin grow. And this brings us to the end of this video. Please remember to subscribe, like, and click on the bell so you know when I create future content. As always, thank you for watching and goodbye.